Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Super Guilds. So this is a really awesome plugin that is similar to Factions, but it has some really cool unique features that sets it apart. It is a premium plugin, however the developer is kindly giving away 10 free copies to my subscribers. So if you want to win this, just leave your spigot name in the comments down below and I will pick 10 winners in a few days. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So in front of me you can see quite a large building and now this is a town hall. So when you create your guild you get a small town hall. Uh, by collecting magic and gold you can increase the size of it to this size and I think you can get bigger than this. Uh, so first of all let's go ahead and create our guild over here. So all you have to do is G create and then call it something. So we're going to call it test. As you can see, glowstone has been um, put around, and that is going to be the total size of your town hall. So we're going to repeat the command, and there we go. So we have pasted in a building, and if we go up to the top, you can see it's very, very small. Uh, this is our town hall. So this is the tier 1 town hall. Very, very small, and uh, not much in it. If we want to increase the size of it, we will have to... Uh, collect gold and magic as I said and put it in the store so if we go into guild management by doing 4 slash G um, we can do three various things so war operations is coming soon I'll pop up a screenshot of that to show you what it's like uh, we obviously have uh, some information about ourselves so um, zero gold and magic has been donated and it shows you when we were last seen our rank etc so lots of cool information there guild operations is the main section where you'll find yourself most and uh, we can do a lot here so let's go into guild store and in here we can uh, store gold and magic so if you click you will store 32 gold uh, this is quite annoying to keep on clicking but thankfully the developer has added the command g donate and then gold for uh, an amount so let's say 300 and that will allow us to donate lots of gold and you can do the same for magic so let me see how much magic we've got so magic is obviously experience we have 113 that's fine so if we do the same command just with magic in place of gold we will be able to donate some magic so magic and then 100 for example now if we go back into the store we can check how much we have so this is 105 out of 500 and this is 438 out of 500 now what can you spend this on? Well if we go over to the guild buildings you can upgrade your alchemy which is a feature that's coming soon. Um, you can upgrade your barracks which is to do with the war feature. You can upgrade the store so you can actually put more gold and magic in uh, which is useful and you can obviously upgrade the town hall. So um, first of all we're going to upgrade the store. So as you can see I have filled our store with gold. There's now 838. There is also 100 magic. And what we can do now is forward slash G, uh, go into guild operations, guild buildings, and see if we can upgrade the town hall. So let's go ahead and upgrade it, and you will see the uh, second tier of the town hall. Um, so let's do that now, click town hall, and we'll be teleported inside in the middle. And as you can see, it has grown in size and gone to the second tier, uh, which is not quite as big as this. Uh, but it, it's getting there. It looks pretty pretty impressive. And as you can see there are more um, more features such as brewing stands uh, which seem to have changed. Do they always look like that? Huh. That's different. Must have been updated or something. And we have much larger chests, more furnaces and what not. More space. So that is how you upgrade your building. You can obviously do it more if you are more powerful. So what I've done is just donated some magic and gold to the store to be able to claim some land. So if you do 4 slash G and you look for the spade, it should be enchanted. If it's enchanted, that means you are on unclaimed land and if you have enough gold, you'll be able to claim it. So as you can see, this is the square of claim and it costs 100 gold ingots to uh, claim a piece of land. And if we go over the same piece of land that we just claimed, you will see the spade is in fact unenchanted, uh, which means it's claimed. And if you click it, it will unclaim and show netherrack in the area that's not no longer yours. So that is how you claim an unclaimed land. Very, very easy and very simple. 
Um, next we are going to move on to my favorite feature of the plugin which is of course the guild emblem. So click this and in chat will appear this awesome emblem creator. So it's very easy to use. You just select your color and you just click the dots or the squares in in the screen and you can create whatever emblem you want. You can create a mob, you can do a face of a person, you can do a flag, you can just do a blank uh, background of a color you like or whatever. It's so cool that you can do this and once you've edited it you can either reset or save and that will be your guild's emblem. So next we are going to look at the guild information really quickly. So it shows our ID, our name, the leader, it shows the status, so various information about the guild and when it was created. Then we are moving on to the player list, so you can mess around with various players here. You can kick them, you can change their ranks and you can uh, look at various members and see um, when they were last on, which is a very useful um, feature. So if they've been AFK for a long time, you might want to kick them. And how much they have donated. You can then click on their head and see even more information about them, such as their health, hunger, location, and how many kills and deaths they've had. So if they've had a lot of deaths and not many kills, uh, their KDA will be very poor and you might want to kick them for that. So uh, let's go ahead and invite my other account. So um, that's very easy to do. You do G invite a GUI will pop up on their screen and they will be able to join. So I'll show you that very quickly. So I'm on my other account and we have received the invitation. If we click the green button, that obviously accepts and we join the guild test and red obviously rejects and closes the menu. So let's click uh, the green button and there we go, we have joined the guild as a member. So now that we have someone else in the guild, we can um, change their rank to allow them to do uh, various things such as claim land and whatnot. So we go into change ranks, we click the player we want to change, he is member by default, captain has some more abilities and then obviously general and leader is myself. So let's make him a captain and as you can see his uh, rank has been changed. We can obviously kick him from the clan uh, if we don't want him anymore. So uh, let's go to kick players and obviously kick them uh, by clicking their head. Simple as that. Uh, that is how you do it. So here we are in the super guilds folder and as you can see there are a few YML files and a couple of folders. So we have obviously the language folder here. We have the guilds folder which has all of the information about each guild. And then we have the chunks, config and player data. So you don't really need to edit um, any of this the config file is the only one you want to change and in here you can change all of the gold magic requirements to upgrade your town hall I would recommend reducing this because 500 is quite a lot uh, you can change the minimax name how much uh, gold you require to create all of these different features you can change and how many permissions each level um, gets. So captain, that's level one. Obviously leader, which is the top, is level three. Um, so up at the top is the important part, so schematics. As you saw, I created a town hall and that was a schematic. So you need to set this to true and you need to go into your schematics folder, uh, which is back here. So world edit, schematics, and you need to paste in these four files. If they are not there, it will not work and you'll get an error. So make sure that is in there. Um, and then you will want to, uh, you can edit how the chat looks like. So you can have the guild name and then obviously their display name and the message. And you can stop guilds from being created in particular worlds. So if you have a mini games world, you obviously won't want guilds in there. But yeah, that is the plugin. It's really awesome. Make sure to leave your spigot name for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.